what is up my ninjas dark frog ninja here with a quick video update now today i was supposed to get my two boxes from josh's frogs and i was going to do a great unboxing video for you guys so you could see what i got but as you can see yeah a uh, snowstorm happened i'm living in virginia and a nor'easter storm by the name of toby came through and has ruined everything this is the worst this is the worst you are the worst i hate looking at your face i want to smash it so guys instead i'm going to show you my isopods and springtails that you probably haven't seen in a few months since i've done the master culture video i want to show you how successful i've been uh and uh how well this this the techniques i showed you worked and let's get started first i'm going to show you my isopods because i love these little guys now <clears throat> as you can see here i added in some wood pieces these are from my uh old vivarium build because there, there's some dwarf purples probably mixed in here now but this is my giant gray isopods now let's take a look see whoa 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 as you can see everywhere and under this piece as you can see they are everywhere they're doing well i i keep adding leaf litter in um um and i, I uh, feed them once a week with that rapashi bug burger uh, as you can see they uh, tear it apart the younger ones I, I i i think eat that more than the older ones but uh they are also chewing holes in the wood and they're eating the leaves so they're doing well everything in here is doing great um so i showed like i said i showed you how to set that up i'll put a link up there right now to the making a master isopod culture next we have our springtails these uh i had a little issue with some mites early on um the grain mites they're harmless to humans and your frogs they just eat grains and grain products but i've been fighting them and i've been winning and now my springtail culture is more springtail than mite if you can see all that springtails everywhere and then there's some good old mold that's what they love to eat but uh yeah springtails are everywhere in here um like i said the mite problem i've pretty much got it handled there's only a little bit left basically there's several ways you can handle mites uh they don't really like the moisture as much as springtails so they tend to climb up on the top of my lid and then i will wash them down the drain and that's the end of them uh you could also dust uh some of your um well some some uh some dust with uh, i think it's paraben dust um and that takes care of them and then you also have mite sprays and mite paper uh, i use a mite spray and uh, that's why it hasn't infected anything else um, i put the mites spray on my paper towels and keep them separated and you know it hasn't infected anything else so there you go that's it guys just a quick video update i wish i could do an unboxing video for you all but that's it and i'll finish with a view of Constantine and that's how this video is gonna end guys we're gonna end right on looking Constantine right in the face all right this is dirt frog ninja saying frog on <laughs>